Hello everyone, it's me Tommy Britton, and this time I have a new car to show you. This is the Weevil Custom which has finally been released and has been a car that the GTA community has been looking forward to for quite some time. Personally it's not my style but due to it being a new car I still had to buy it and see how it fares on the streets of Los Santos. To get this car you need to buy the regular Weevil and then upgrade it at Benny's for around 900,000, the car is on offer this week so altogether it cost me around 1.4 million before upgrades, but I'm assuming it will go up to around 1.7 million next week. First of all I wanted to let all of you know that I am by no means the best at customizing cars, in fact I barely know anything. Most of my cars are based mainly on what I think looks quite cool and so if this car turned out a bit horrific to some of you then I do apologize. Due to this being a Benny's vehicle you can see that there are quite a few customization options and so I decided to go a little crazy. Another reason for this is it's Halloween week and I felt like embracing the holiday spirit a little bit. This isn't a car that I will drive regularly so I will probably just leave it in my garage as something to look at every now and again. Therefore the more it stands out the better in my opinion. For this car I wanted to give it quite a fierce look whilst also keeping it a clean cut. There were a few things like the livery and some of the modifications I was contemplating but in the end I left off. I am still trying to complete English Dave's missions to get the free Weevil which I will use as more of a dumb car to have more fun with like the Panto. In this case I decided to leave the livery off and in the end I went with my signature style of matte black with a chrome secondary color. I have used this style on a few cars in the past and personally I really like it. I think it leaves a nice contrast and really makes the features pop. There were a few changes that I made to this car after recording, for example the exhaust which I forgot to put on, I also added a front and rear bumper which was the tusk I believe just to add some more chrome and also I changed the hood, because I just felt it looked a bit weird and had too much negative space, I also think I'm going to change the lights. I chose red because I thought it would fit in with Halloween but after driving for a while I just didn't love it and I think a different color would fit better. I was relatively happy with the way it came out in the end especially considering it's not a car I would usually buy. Now it's time to take this car out onto the road and for me to share some of my first impressions. One of the initial downsides I realized quite early on is that this car doesn't have very good agility. Trying to drive out of the alleyway of Benny's I noticed that turning tight corners was quite tricky. I found I needed more space and so I wouldn't rate this car for trying to navigate throughout the city. That being said when I got this car up to full speed on a straight road I found it it turned quite nicely, therefore this vehicle could be quite good for long deliveries or something like a long haul drive. Another thing I noticed was that there was times where I was nervous this car would tip over whilst going round corners. I had thought of this beforehand hence why I lowered the suspension all the way but it was still an issue, however as I said, I wouldn't recommend this vehicle for navigating tight spaces so this shouldn't be an issue too often. Overall I don't really like this vehicle for driving but this is just my opinion, I like to have cars that can do a bit of everything and for me this car is lacking in that department. It looks badass but it just doesn't have that agility you might need when escaping a griefer or cops etc for me this car is more for enjoying visually or having fun with your friends and I don't see that as an issue. There are so many good cars in GTA so we can afford to have a few like this that are just there to look menacing. Apologies, I just have to murk a few fellas who decided to start a fight, this will be over momentarily. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video and got something out of it, I think this is a cool car but not necessarily the most practical. If you liked the video feel free to like and subscribe and I hope to see you again in the next one.